if you still happen to own an old CRV like this one, meaning the 03 to 07 one variety, you know it's kind of bulletproof. I mean, the thing is sturdy, still okay, kind of big, but of course, everybody's main complaint, malakas sa gas. So it's a gas guzzler. Well, back in 2003, fuel economy standards aren't what they are today. So what do you do? You want to sell the car? Nobody wants to buy it because everybody knows it's a guzzler. But as a car, I mean, as a utility, it's pretty useful. You can fit a refrigerator at the back. That's not a problem. You can fold the seats down and it's a Honda. So engine-wise, reliability is there. And it's, yeah, it's more useful as just a car. So if you have one of these and you want, and just annoyed about the fuel economy part about, and of course, Compared with newer cars now, it's not as powerful. We have the solution for it, and that solution is to install a unit chip to be able to remap the ECU. And just to show the ECU of the CRV is here behind the glove box. So, this is the glove box. Then, there it is. That's the ECU over there. <laughs> this thing here. So, what we'll be doing is we'll be installing the unit chip there, and then it will be hidden here behind the glove compartment also once it's installed. Uh, if you've seen some other our other videos, you might be wondering why we have unit chips sometimes, well, most of the time now in the engine bay instead of here inside where people think that it's less prone to heat. Well, the simple reason is unit chip has to be where the ECU is. And almost all modern cars now, meaning anything from 06 and up has the ECU in the engine compartment. And don't worry, it's designed to be there. What is hot for you, the human, is not hot for the ECU, it's not hot for the unit chip either. So don't worry. <laughs> Just because you think and feel that it's hot, no, that's not the way to measure if something is prone to heating or not. You are not a temperature gauge, you are not a thermometer. So, uh, this is the unit chip that we'll be installing and how to install it is this one. <laughs> wiring diagram that comes with being a Unichip master franchisee dealer installer for the Philippines. So we, we have access to this, you the normal person don't. And you, I, you normal person also don't know how to read this, so it doesn't really matter. So I'll try to explain it in a nutshell. This is the ECU socket side, this is the Unichip socket side, this, is this one here. So, This is the unit chip plug which goes into here. We will be putting wires here and this corresponds to that. So all of these wires are color coded. Uh, a bit hard to see from the camera, but this is white, red, brown, yellow, yellow, blue, black, yellow, black, black. This is green and red, red. So for those who have some electrical or engineering background, this should not be too hard to interpret. But for 99 people, Percent of the people watching, this is like uh, shit wiring electronics, no pass, don't want to do it anymore. So that's why you let us do it, you don't have to worry about it, we'll do everything for you. All you have to do is bring the car to the shop, have the money ready, then we'll give you, well for this CRV, we'll give you around 12, 16 horses more. And fuel economy wise, which everybody is, thinks is very important, it's about 8 to 10 percent on average better not 10, 10 to 10 percent average more fuel no 10 to 10 percent less fuel consumed so in these trying times that is very important any amount of fuel economy you can get you should be very happy with it so first things first we're going to be checking this diagram that we have against the car because although we know we've done it before because you can see here see crv 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 we've done several already but there is the rare occasion that, who knows, might be a gray market American CRV that somebody bought. We don't know, so 
first things first, we double check if the color and the position of these wires are the same. stock power it's about 100 tama lang yun kasi mga 140 nga yung rated nito eh so a little bit low actually dapat pag manual lang pas 100 to eh. sa bagay lang taon na ba to 20 years old <laughs> so ayan this is stock ito ramdam mo pag binibira mo may lundo oh yan yun <laughs> yung may ganun ng content that's pick pickup ulit oh ito yun that by the way is not VTEC as everybody keeps thinking hindi VTEC yan <laughs> Pangit lang yung fueling niya talaga at this point. So, at, then this is your remap. Ah, this is your yeah, unichip. So, here from the get-go, we start small. 5 horse, 8 horse. Ito, medyo malaki na pagdating mo ng 3. 45 to 60. So, 15 na yan. 55 to 70, 15. Ito, yung lundo, nawala. So, no more dip. So, it's an overall smoother ride. But this dip here is from 55 to 75. This is 20 horse right there. And going all the way up, this is also 20 horse, itong dalawa. The nice thing is your torque now, before your maximum torque was 5.7, nobody reaches that. So now your max torque happens at 3.2. So earlier. So averaging it wise, this is about eh, 15, 18 horses if you average all the gain out. Because when you want to read horsepower, it's mathematically, it's the area of this one minus the area of that. So, parang doang triangle, you cut out ano yung natira, yun yung horsepower gain mo. Sa torque, same thing. Area of that minus area of that. So, this, uh, looking at it roughly, is about 20, 30 newton meters more. Now, if you're wondering why we use Unichip instead of remapping, it's very simple. It's an uh, old car. It's 20 years old. Back then, remap wasn't even in the dictionary yet. So, that generation CRV, the second gen, 5th uh, gen, 8th gen, 7th gen Civic, there you go, 6th gen Accord, or all cannot be remapped. It has all to be Unichip. Yeah, there you go. So, anyway, up to about any Honda up to about 2005. We will have to be using Unichip for that one. So, aforementioned CRV, Jazz, City, Civic, C I'm the pilot. There's a few of them running around here. Uh, the old Civic SI, the old Type R's. We will all be using Unichip for that one. So, and it's fine because number one, assuming that you did keep your CRV for 20 years already, and next few years decide to say, ah, hell, let's sell it. Don't want to maintain it no more. That particular unit chip, that same unit chip, you can remove. Well, we can remove it, and then we can transfer it to another car. 
So, what other car? Well, you buy a brand new Fortuner, we can install it. You buy a brand new Civic, we can install it. You buy a new City, Altis, Vios, Avanza. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. So, it is not a wasted purchase that's specifically just for the CRV.